All right, guys. Well, I was only planning on doing one today, but I had this one sitting by my desk, How to Invest by David Rubenstein. And uh, this is one of a trio of books that went back to back to back that I feel like had a big impact. It grew a new compartment of my brain. Um, and so shoot, it's sitting right here. We've already got the, the camera rolling. You know, why not, why not do a little dive into David Rubenstein's, um, how to invest and, uh, the subtitle being masters on the craft. And the interesting thing about this one is it's really, again, funny enough, both, both of these books, actually, uh, this one is just a compilation of interviews that he's done. And so this is, um, uh, it, you know, so it's kind of funny because you can go online and, and watch and listen to all these uh, uh, interviews, which actually, as I was going through it, there were some that I either had seen or I would read the chapter and then I'd go back and listen to the interview while I was out on a walk. So, um, you know, it doesn't hurt to get, you know, content, you know, multiple different ways, multiple different times uh, to learn from it. So for those of you who don't know, um, you know, David Rubenstein is a um, leader of a, a founder of a private equity firm out of Washington, D.C., Carlisle Group, um, and is now running a, a family office as well, kind of investing his own money. Um, and so he's been doing it for decades and is, is very successful. And then maybe in the last, um, I don't know how many years, but um, recent memory has gotten into interviewing other successful people and sharing um, knowledge in that way. And he's a, you know, he's a philanthropist and um, all kinds of interesting stuff. Has a little bit of wokeisms in it, which, um, you know, is not necessarily my flavor. And, and by that, I just mean um, there's, there's lots of talk of the whole ESG um, concept, um, which I don't, I don't really get it. I don't, I don't understand um, you know, what's, I, I don't understand what's all the rave in, in a business context. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Um, uh, but he, uh, highlights, let's see how many it is. So we're in three different parts. So, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23. So he highlights 23 different investors among in three different kind of uh, main categories being main invest, mainstream investments, alternative investments, and then cutting edge. Um, and then within each of those sections, there's some kind of different things going on. So, um, you know, from fixed income to public equities to private family offices, uh, endowments and hedge funds and distressed debt and infrastructure. And the infrastructure one was actually very interesting. Um, it, it talked about this firm, Global Investment Partners, I think is the name, um, that basically you know buys public assets that are failing and increases their capacity, invests in them, and makes them more productive and more profitable. Um, so, you know, society benefits, shareholders benefit, um, and, um, and then, and the consumers of that particular utility benefit as well. So, um, that, that, that one was just a, a great book, which I feel like one of the main things it did among other things is, um, again, just expanded one of those compartments in my brain because, you know, every single person in this, you know, in this book is managing, you know, funds that are, you know, 10, 17 billion dollars or, or, or more or organizations controlling, you know, nearly trillion dollars, you know, trillions of dollars worth of assets. Um, so just a, just a fascinating read and getting all these different people's stories on how they how they came to the world of investing and and, um, you know, what their particular uh, strategy is. Um, you know, they're, they're the particular niche of the industry that they're in. So uh, definitely would uh, recommend this one uh, among any of the others. Um, and just David Rubenstein in, uh, in general, I've been a, a big fan of his work and his, his media appearances and interviews and things like that. So 
Um, definitely lots to learn from that guy. And, um, and so there you go. Just wanted to, just wanted to share and, um, and, uh, give, give, uh, the, the, the channel some more food for thought. So if you're thinking about picking it up, I enjoyed it and, um, would, would definitely recommend to the next guy. So there you go. Now I, I hope you all have a great week and, um, we'll, we'll keep checking in with hopefully more, uh, more information, more things to, to think about and, um, and talk to you guys soon. Thanks.